in the beautiful Yorkshire Dales this morning. Chris has surprised me with the trip up here north for my birthday and we're doing some landscape photography. We found this beautiful waterfall right here. Cauldron waterfall I think it's called and I found a fairly simple composition. Uh, I've gotten as low as possible that I could get. I've got some uh, rocks in the foreground and the waterfall down there. I've got a polarizer to cut off the glare from the water and I'm shooting on the 28 to uh, 300 as wide as I can because recently I've made the stupid mistake and I dropped my uh, 24 to 70 and I've scratched the front element so I'm gonna use this as well and try to get a wider angle but I'm not sure how that picture is gonna turn out. I'm also gonna add a three-stop ND filter to slow down the movement of the water a bit more to get that nice smooth water effect. I've asked Chris to go and stand on one of those rocks so I can get some human element for scale. I've switched out my composition completely. I've found some uh, lovely logs that are working as leading lines towards the waterfall and I think it's uh, gonna work much better than before. I might need to focus stack this because uh, the logs are quite close to the camera and the water was quite far. So I'm gonna take two pictures. One I'm gonna focus in, on the logs nearby and on the other one I'm gonna focus on the waterfall and then I'm gonna merge them together in Photoshop. First I'm gonna wait for all those guys to leave. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of people behind the waterfall and I'm not a fan. Chris has said that in my previous vlog I sounded a bit negative. <laughs> if you haven't seen that Norfolk video, click up there to have a look. The truth is that things didn't just, just didn't go our way, you know, we missed, we missed breakfast and dinner and a lot of sights, but we had a lovely time and even though the actual light didn't do us any favors, so the pictures were average at best, uh, I'm not the kind of guy who goes for the you know, portfolio shot every time. Any picture that has good composition, and I think it's a, a good picture, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna love it, because it's a memory. And the other thing is, I can't really, you know, put on a fake excitement face. This is my excitement face. Like, when I get excited, I'm normal. I don't go crazy about it. <laughs> and right now, I am very excited, because this place is awesome. By the way, Krista takes amazing pictures, yeah? Go check out her Instagram and her website and have a look at those because she has a very unique eye, especially for architecture. We have to explore the village. It is so peaceful here. We're looking for some tea though. Let's take some pictures. Well, this is a little bit busier than I thought it would be. These rocks on these waterfalls have potholes everywhere. And uh, at some parts, water gathers and swirls around. I want to see if I can do a long exposure of the swirl. Try to get some motion in there. Now we're late for our parking, so we have to run. Oh, doggy. Come to check out Bolton Castle. <laughs> the castle is closed now, so we won't go in. Look at that, look at that little sheep. What's a baby sheep called? I don't know, but look at the hair on this one. We 
have a couple of hours before sunset. We're gonna head back down south towards a place called Malham's Cove. We've made it to the Lone Tree at Malham Cove, just in time for it. sun just set, we had some nice orange light hitting the, these limestones. They lead exactly to the tree, I mean that's, this is what's unique about this scene. The light didn't go crazy but it's still, just because the composition is so good, still makes up for a very compelling image. Do you agree? It was a very nice location, but I think it might work better for sunrise, so if we can wake up, we'll come back. We were just driving to get some dinner and the moon just came right out of the horizon, I guess. And we're back. Good morning. Check out that bloody sky. We're running a little late, so we have to hurry before we lose all the light. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at that. So the sky's quite bright now, so I've got a uh, graduated ND filter here to keep it at bay. That was truly beautiful. Sunrises really are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's go find some rolling hills. <music> On our way to Malham Cove now. Not quite sure where the cove is, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. wasn't this early, this place would be swarming with people, so that's an extra benefit of uh, waking up very early and get the places to yourself. 